Okay, good morning everyone. Welcome back to LSJ TV again. Today's vlog is going to be a moving vlog. And as you can see here, just saying goodbye to my doggies. The car is all packed as you can also see. I'm going to say bye to my beloved gym, bye to my home and hello to Nottingham. So with that said guys, let's kick off today's video. Okay, so in all fairness to me, the room is in slightly less of a state than it normally is when I move back. <laughs> Come on, little kids! Come on, little kids! Yeah! Should we, say, should we say bye to the gym? Should we say bye to the gym? <gasps> You're not normally allowed in here, are you, doggies? <laughs> Come on, then. Come on, then, good girls. I'm going to turn this camera off and say goodbye to them properly and then we're going to go shopping. Right guys, we made it back to university. We are in Nottingham now. We're in the city centre, the best place to be. Now, I have actually got a big challenge ahead of myself. I've got to pack away all of this, all of that, and all the clothes in my bedroom as well. But the first thing is we came back for New Year's and actually we seem to have made a mess off the fridge. And so, this needs a good scrubbing first. And then after that, we... I've got to wow, I don't even know where to start. It's this is one of those chat this is one of those things where you just don't know where to start. You've got that many things to do. Fuck it, let's just get going. <laughs> So as I've been packing away, uh, I've just been thinking about what we're doing with the house. I haven't actually filled you guys in, I haven't updated you guys with what we're doing with living next year. Because what you have to do when you're a student, when it gets to sort of October, November sort of time, you have to start looking for houses for the following year. Seems really early, right? That's because it fucking is. But the reality of it is, guys, is that you have to look for houses around that time if you want to find a decent place to live. Now, we originally planned on living here because it is genuinely, as student accommodation goes, a really nice place to live. But the thing is, you're kind of paying for location. The, the thing is, it's a quite a small place, nice, compact, cute, but it's got character. That's what people tend to say about houses. It's got character. But... We've managed to find a place, not with just the three of us, me, Charlotte and Kate. People you might have seen and people you might not have seen we're also going to be living with next year. So we're living with Billy, you've seen him in a few training videos, he helps me film a lot. So Billy if you're watching this, thanks a lot for that. And we're also living with Izzy. Now you guys have never seen Izzy before but I'm sure you'll meet her at some point this year and you're obviously going to see her next year as well. So what we've done is we've found a place a little bit further out from the city centre but actually it's £40 a week cheaper. Now we're paying £120 a week to live here. That is a hell of a lot of money. That's about five and a half grand each academic year. Yeah, we get the loan to cover it, but does it leave us much left over, if anything? Not really. So then we started to think and think and think. Other friends needed places to live, other people to live with, and so we thought, why not look for a place for the five of us? And so that's what we've done. We've found a place a little bit further out in Nottingham. Just a short bus journey into the city centre, or a short walk if you can be bothered to do some cardio. Nobody wants to do cardio. So as I say, guys, it is a little bit further out, but that's not really an issue because there's people who are even further out than that. And actually, it's just like getting paid £40 a week. It's like having a job. It's like, imagine doing one shift a week, you probably get £30, £40 a week shift for let's say six or seven hours work that then if you think about it is translated into our student loan left over from what we would be paying if we were living here so it's a bit like getting a job sort of so that's it just thought I'd give you a little bit of a quick update as to what we're doing next year and to let you guys know if you're new students first years that you should be looking for housing now if not a month or so ago so just so you know for next year no so you know for this year just thought I'd help you guys out a little bit so uh, yeah that's that very excited to be living there very thankful to have lived here had the opportunity to live here great location great place and just having a great time so far and hopefully that continues but again looking forward to moving on to the next chapter next year with a new house with us five.
So Charlotte should be here any minute and Kate's coming back sometime tomorrow I think so I have no idea what to do because the place is still a shithole and uh, Charlotte's parents are going to turn up and be like Liam what have you done with the place? But I have the excuse of it not just being me there was a few of us here on New Year's we had a great time I never actually vlogged that I did intend to but um, to be honest I just like Christmas and New Year kind of holiday period I thought well Let's just actually enjoy this time with family and friends rather than vlogging it and putting it all out on the internet for you guys to see. Not that I don't want you guys to see every aspect of my life because that is exactly what this channel is about. But I just wanted that little bit of personal time and the time where I didn't have to concentrate on vlogging and I could just enjoy myself. Literally, I was just vlogging, right? I was just vlogging here, and I heard you open the door. I was like, shit, hi. Oh my god. No. <laughs> so, just as I thought I was getting the place together, Charlotte comes and fucks the place up again. <laughs> now we've got more to tidy. It's just been trembling, and the fact that the crowd now are cheering for. Look at the power here. Explosive. Team, just enough to win. Showing his dominance. Imagine if you go into the gym four or five times a week, the amount of dedication that you put into that, you think you're consistent and you work hard. These guys are just on another level. This is the most consistent I've ever trained. The last sort of six months or so, this is the most progress, the most gains I've made ever. But absolutely nothing compared to the lifetime of training that these guys do. It needs one man to go between the two of them to go to the final. That's what it comes down to. One eternity later. Oh, oh man. How's it going guys? Um, I actually had a lot bigger plans for this vlog. I was going to talk to you about a few different topics. Um, but I'll save that for the next video which will be my 100th video so we'll do some sort of celebration there so keep your eyes peeled on all of my social media Instagram, Facebook, Twitter I'll link them all in the description box as always guys so keep your eyes peeled for that uh, but I spent the rest of my day doing my assessment which is due for Monday and actually it took a hell of a lot longer than I expected I spent about four or five hours doing my reference list finding, re finding references that I hadn't referenced that's a big big tip guys if you're a student in your first year second year whatever if you're watching this video as you go along do your reference list because if if not at the end it takes two hours plus especially if you have sort of 20 30 odd references it's now actually almost midnight and i haven't even had any dinner yet so you can probably hear in my voice just how tired i really am i have not actually really relaxed since i've come back i've either been unpacking or i've been doing this work and so hopefully i can just chill a little bit more tomorrow some downtime to myself after spending a few days on this essay with that said that is going to conclude this video guys so thanks a lot for watching as always if you made it this far actually it's probably not going to have been a very long video because I've not said an awful lot, but and apologies for the lack of gym footage as well. It was supposed to. To be honest, none of this video went to plan. But sometimes you just got to keep uploading, as Casey Neistat said himself. So with that said, that is going to conclude today's video, guys. Thanks a lot for watching. As always, remember, no regrets. I'll see you guys in the next video.